Okay, guys, it is now 3.01, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, so my name is Kelsey Foster. I am the Eastern Unified Champion School Coordinator. Uh, so I mainly focus for schools kind of around uh, the Philadelphia suburbs is really my territory. Um, but I know a lot of people here have ladies on some kind of all over the state, but you'll be talking with me today. So we're here to talk about spread the word inclusion for 2020. Uh, so if you were here last year, not too much has changed. There is obviously a couple of things here and there, uh, but overall the big change is now that we are spread the word inclusion, uh, moving away from spread the word to end the word. Um, so with that, this is a recorded webinar. So this will be available for you to watch again. If you need to go back to anything, we're also going to be following up some of the materials that I talk about today. So uh, just know that this isn't the last time you're going to see any of this information because I know it can be a lot at once. The other thing is I do have you all on mute only because it just really helps with that background noise that I know it's very annoying when we have large webinars like this. So if you do need anything, we do have a group chat with Zoom. Uh, you should be able to see it in your window and you can address it to me, it'll come up as Michelle Boone because that's who Zoom this is, that's our boss. Uh, but you can send it to me privately or you can send it to everyone so we can all see it if it's a question or a comment about anything that we talk about here. So with that, we're going to get started. So this is just a little briefer on uh, why we swapped to spread the word inclusion. So we really thought that the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign just really lasted. <laughs> it had kind of run its, run its course, and we are ready to kind of move on to our next challenge, which is talking more about inclusion broadly. And we knew that with the group of high schoolers in our schools now, that isn't the only thing they are focused on when it comes to inclusion. They really want to focus on diversity and inclusion for everyone, not just people with disabilities. So it's very important that to them that we included everyone, which is also why we kind of changed this to keep up with the needs of our students. So with that, the pledge does look a little different. As you know, in the past, there'd be like a big, huge banner that said spread the word to end the word and everyone would sign it and pledge to stop the use of the R word. Whether they see it or hear it, they would stop it that way. But we're kind of changing it now. So now on the banner, we want them to pick what they are spreading the word for. So what we've really seen on our banners now is some still choose to do the name, but they're also going to write what they're pledging for. So on these banners, you will see things like we have on the screen here, uh, spread the word for kindness, spread the word to give everyone a voice, uh, spread the word to end inclusion. So it's really just a much broader scale. So here's what SOPA is doing, by Special Books Pennsylvania is what I mean by SOPA for 2020. We did start a video campaign last year and we are going to be doing that again. Uh, we did really like that and we always love seeing what our schools create. Um, I always say like these high school students are just so much better at video editing than I could ever hope to be. It's absolutely amazing what they can make and they do it so fast. Uh, we did have our winner from Slippery Rock High School last year, I believe. And we are once again giving out a $100 um, gift certificate for towards an end of the year party. I'll go more in detail on that in a second. Uh, we are also giving all of our schools, again, $150 $50 towards our Spread the Word store. We will also do a quick walkthrough of that. But we really want to see all of our schools getting this. This is free materials for you guys. And a lot of our schools really did not take advantage of this last year. So we're really just trying to make sure that people know that this is there for them. And there's not many strings attached. So it's really just to give you guys materials so you have successfully spread the words. And uh, our, the National Day is March 4th of 2020. That is the official Spread the Word Day where you will see a lot of social media interaction from Special Olympics International. Uh, but with our schools, we can hold spread the word events anytime throughout the year. Sometimes it's kind of fun to align it with the national spread the word day, but you can really hold a successful event anytime throughout the year. So these are just some pictures from last year and I really wanted to point out uh, the top 
last picture, which says I choose to include because people don't deserve to be left out, because we just really thought that was such a wonderful idea. So instead of everyone coming up and signing the banner, which they still had, they also gave out those cutouts for people to fill in, and then they posted them in their school building. And it's just a really, really unique way to kind of personalize this. Um, and once again, we just love to see it and we love that they chose to share that with us because we just think that that is such a great idea and that's exactly what we want to see in our schools. Okay, so just real fast, we're going to talk about ordering supplies through AMPRO. Once again, you have $150 that is completely free for you to use. And we're going to send it just like we did last year and I believe the year before in a gift certificate code. So whoever your Special Olympics liaison is, whether it's me or Jen or Lauren or a couple others out there, uh, we will be sending you a code that's going to be just a bunch of random letters and numbers pretty much. Um, but this is the code that you're going to put in to get your free stuff. So let's go see what the site looks like. So this is our Spread the Word Inclusion store. And uh, so this is kind of what we have to choose from. Uh, so for our schools that aren't super enthusiastic about going through all this and trying to figure out what's best for $150, we do have this uh, package deal, which comes out to exactly $150. It comes with a banner, stickers, and then a couple of t-shirts and a couple of water bottles. Uh, sorry, I don't know why the picture's not loading. There it is. Um, so that's what's in our little package deal if you're stressed about uh, how to come up to exactly $150. Uh, so let's just go ahead and add this to our cart. And we're going to view our cart. And then right here where it says gift certificate, this is where you're going to put your code and click apply. And once you put that in there, you'll be able to check out. Uh, you, all you have to do is provide an address for them to send it to. We take care of shipping as well, and you will be good to go. If you do have more than $150, uh, it's going to be just as simple. You're still going to put your gift certificate code there, and it'll subtract the $150, but then you will have to pay anything over that $150. So once again, please, please, please go to this site, use it, uh, get a bunch of stuff in here uh, because this is really good. Um, and we also do still have, oh, that's not what I meant to click, <laughs> the design your own t-shirt. And this could be for your clubs, uh, whatever you want it to be. This is your $150. You can do whatever you want with it. We've had some teams create some really cool t-shirts in the past. Uh, just a quick example of this. This was a shirt that was designed by one of our schools that I just thought was a really different approach. Uh, just because my path is different doesn't mean I'm lost. And once again, they use their $150 to make that t-shirt. So it doesn't have to just be spread the word either. If you want to do something different for an inclusion week or anything like that, we wholeheartedly approve of anything uh, like that. <laughs> So if you run into any issues, either with your code, if it says the code is invalid or anything like that, please, please, please reach out to us. Let us know. We are sending out individual codes to each and every school. And as you know, we have, you know, about 200 <laughs> schools right now, so it can get a little crazy. Uh, but we'll make sure that we fix it for you. And same thing if uh, which you don't get anything or anything like that, we'll either reach out to you directly or go to AMPRO and we'll take care of it. So once again, we just really want everyone to think beyond just setting up a table and having people come and sign it. Um, we, we've done that for about 10 years now. We're moving past it. We're doing more because our clubs are really craving to do more. So we will talk a little bit more about a respect week. Uh, we have an inclusion week too. Um, you could tie it in with anti-bullying week or really your school spirit week. Um, so other things we see in our schools do is having unified club members talk to students during like the first period of homeroom, however your school is organized. Um, you could align it up with a pep rally for your unified team. Uh, we all know we have bocce season up and running and then track will be starting here in March. So it's perfect timing for either one of your unified teams. 
And then, of course, you can always create a video to be shown to the school that could also be entered in our video contest. So two birds, one stone there. <laughs> but truly, once again, if you pitch it to your students, I promise they will come up with a million ideas. And they have the drive and ambition to make this event happen. You just have to really believe in them. So I strongly encourage everyone to kind of figure out the best way to have a good spread the word at your school. Uh, once again, the video contest. So we have the deadline until March 2nd this year. So feel free to submit videos under three minutes in length. That's a big one. We don't really want super long videos because we all know no one has the attention span for them anymore. Um, so and once you have your video, you can either send it to sopaunified at gmail.com or your liaison, whichever you prefer. Both count as a submission. And we will be announcing the winner on March 10th. And once again, the winner receives $100 for the end of the year party. So um, I will also show you the flyer on this. But this is really big for especially my schools in the southeastern part of the state because we have a ton of schools that also do Best Buddies. So we've been really working on ways to strengthen our relationship with Best Buddies. So Inclusion Week was actually created by a student in one of our schools. So Hannah Hope of Upper Marion High School came up with this idea for her Girl Scout project and reached out to both special, me with Special Olympics and our uh, basically the exact person of me who works in Best Buddies and asked if we would both sponsor this. And we're like, of course, this is such a wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. So our inclusion week is going to take place between March 16th and March 20th, that full week. and you don't have to be in the southeast to do this inclusion week we just think it's such a great idea to really unite all of our schools so here's just a quick uh, rundown of what we're kind of doing so on monday uh, we are going to get everyone comfortable with each other it's kind of how we worded it so we're going to have a pj day and break the ice with conversations on inclusion tuesday our kind of overall arching theme was embrace creativity. So you can have a dress up day. I think Upper Marion specifically is doing like fairy tales, like dressing up like your favorite fairy tale characters, really whatever works best with you guys. Uh, with Wednesday, Visibility Awareness Day. So this one is pretty cool because we all know there's like certain colors associated with different disabilities. So Wednesday is all about that. So you can have different groups kind of pick a different awareness or disability, my, my apologies, and like dress up in that color and really spread awareness that way. Thursday would be the pledge day. So that's when we'd have our banner. They'd pick what they're going to spread the word on. They can wear their spread the word shirts. Um, so that's kind of what we're all doing on Thursday. And then Friday is actually uh, Crazy Sock Day. It is the national Crazy Sock Day uh, that World Down Syndrome Day has created. I'm sure many of you have already heard of this event, so it really ties in with this week really well. And then for our schools that are in Best Buddies and Unified Champion Schools, specifically in the Southeast, sorry guys, uh, there is the Best Buddies Ball on that Saturday. So it's just a really fun week for our schools, but once again, you do not have to be in the Southeast to participate in this week. We just can't provide you with the Best Buddies Ball, but it's still a really fun week if you're not quite sure what to do. So another thing we wanted to talk about here again, and we did talk about this last year, so hopefully this isn't brand new to you guys, is the Special Olympics ESPN Pledge. Um, so it's just another really good thing to kind of add in if you're looking for something else to do with your spread the word. If you see in our picture, I believe this is Bald Area, Bald, yeah, Bald Eagle Area High School, and they printed out the pledge and had it in their school, and they truly did it. And I think that is so amazing. So we really wanted to highlight them for doing that. And it's, it's just a very simple way to just add a little bit to it. So event follow-up, this is really what people get confused on. Yes, we're giving you $150 for free, but we do just want to know what you're doing with it. That's all we ask. Uh, so, and then I will also say, please put this on your student leaders in your school. We do not need you to be doing this, but we really just want the who, what, when, where, how, number of people exposed from your events. That's all we need. And then you can send it to your li liaison or SOPA Unified at Gmail. And we just really love the pictures. This is, I mean, we don't work in the schools. I know you see them every day, but we don't. And we love to see the pictures. We love to show everyone else in Special Olympics and also to like our board members what our schools are doing because we really want to highlight that. 
And hopefully everyone has seen our newsletter, but we will also be highlighting some of the pictures we get in our newsletters throughout the year, but especially April uh, will be really highlighted with youth leadership. So please, please, please send us those pictures and um, just make sure you're doing your follow-up because we want to know what you're doing. Okay, so I do have just a few more things to show you. Sorry about that. And they're really just resources that will be coming to you. So this is too big. So this is our flyer for the video competition. Uh, we will be sending this out to you, but it really just briefly sum summarizes what I talked about with you today with the, uh, our video competition. Once again, you can submit all the way to March 2nd. Then we have our inclusion week. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we will send this to you as well if you just want to know what we're talking about. And once again, with Inclusion Week, you can kind of change the different days if they don't really line up with what you want to do. Uh, here's some of them. So with Wednesday, just to kind of highlight this again, so autism is, autism is blue, ADHD is orange, cerebral palsy is green, and there's a lot more out there. You just got to do a little bit of research, but those are the ones we highlighted. Um, but this will definitely be coming your way soon. And it's not mandatory by any means, but we just really want you guys to know that it is out there. And then last but not least, we have a Spread the Word Inclusion Toolkit. Uh, this is from the headquarters of Special Six, so this is not made by myself or any of our state liaisons. This comes from Special Six uh, North America. And in proper fashion, it is it is insanely long. It's like 52 pages, so we're not going to go all the way through it. But if you do need anything in here, it really does have a lot of good information. And if you do have any of those really strong go-getters in your club that you just know would like take this and run with it, uh, this is a really excellent resource. So we will also be sending it your way. It's got a fact sheet if they want to do that. Um, they have event ideas that go monthly, so I know this is a little small, um, but they actually have days for each month, so and it highlights different things, too. So if you'll see, April is all autism, uh, February we do celebrate Black History Month, <laughs> and then October we have National Pizza Month, they know what the students want. So, uh, but they also included Pride Month in here in June, so it's really cool. And there's just kind of a play-by-play -play of the month. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to make sure you guys saw is how to get, is how to get started kit is the social media activation. Uh, we all know that social media has really taken off. It's how everyone kind of communicates with each other, especially our high schoolers. So I love that social media activation, a revolution from your phone. And it really gives them kind of step-by-steps of what to do or just proper things to do uh, to promote this on social media, because we all know that's important too. And it also has a calendar for tips and tricks. So I know it's a lot, um, and I don't expect you to read all of this, but it is here if you ever need it. So with that, I know that was really quick, just about 20 minutes from my end, but I am going to open the chat box now. And have, if you have any questions, please write them now and I will answer them with you guys. Um, other than that, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll hear from you guys soon. Thanks. Okay, so I do have, looks like two questions right here. Uh, oh, that's a good question. It's uh, when do we have to order by? We really want you guys ordering as soon as we send you the code. Um, so, but I believe that March is really the month where we want everyone ordering, um, but obviously we will keep it open until probably April. Um, but yeah, oh, and then we have a good comment that says uh, from Marissa that says, I ordered from the site earlier this week and it was super easy. So thank you. We've tried to make it as simple as possible. So we really appreciate that. Um, the other question, uh, once again, if you have an order that's over $150, you will then just have to pay the rest. So that's when you will be asked to put in a credit card is if it's over $150. Uh, we can share these slides. We will also um, 
also share this recording and all of the flyers that I talked about. So definitely that will all be going over there. So if you do the order and design your own shirts, it, nothing's going to be any different. You're still going to put in that code and it'll take off $150 from your order. Um, but that is in our Spread the Word site, that option to create your own. So it shouldn't be any different. We try to make it pretty simple for you guys. Um, last but not least, <laughs> I have a question that is asking if the inclusion week is mandatory. Um, so, <laughs> no, it is not mandatory, so don't worry about that. Uh, but we do obviously encourage people to do it if they want to. Uh, we have a question that says, do we still need to make sure to type the code in versus doing a copy and paste? Uh, so, I personally have had success with the copy and paste, but I know sometimes depending on Honestly, it can even depend on the type of internet browser you're using. Uh, so if it doesn't work, if you copy and paste, that's when you have to just type in the code. And after it doesn't work when you type in the code, that's when you contact your liaison. Um, but fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly. Okay, it looks like we have just about answered all of our questions. Thank you so much for joining us today. And with that, we will end the webinar. But if you have any other questions, feel free to email your liaisons and we will make sure to answer them. I hope everyone is having a lovely new year and good luck for those of you that are starting Bocce next week. <laughs>